Jacaranda Joe is a found footage Bigfoot movie that is quite literally found footage. And it's created by the guy who made Night of the Living Dead. Count me in. First, a little background on the story, because it is pretty cool. We all know that George A. Romero got famous for making Night of the Living Dead, and that opened the door for him to go on to make a ton of zombie movies, and a lot of other stuff too, like Creepshow, Monkey Shrines, and Tales from the Dark Side. During the height of his success in the 70s, George was toying with the idea of making a Bigfoot movie called The Footage which would have been about a TV show that has a famous guest athlete go out into the woods alongside experienced hunters. But instead of deer, they find the mythical monster. A good idea. A great idea, in fact. And it wouldn't just leave his head. It wasn't until the 90s that he was able to bring it up again. Valencia College is a relatively small community college that at first glance isn't anything special, but they had a really cool theater program. What they would do is get some pretty big name directors to come to campus and shoot a movie with the students. And the first one to come was Robert Wise. Yeah, the guy who made The Sound of Music and West Side Story. It was a two year program at the college and the second year students got to work with the directors. A couple of the people who worked with Wise went on to make The Blair Witch Project. Then, the very next year, Romero comes in to make Jacaranda Joe. It's just crazy to think that two found footage movies, one being the biggest found footage movie ever, came out of the same campus around the same time. Anyway, like I said, after Robert Wise, the next year they got Romero to come in, and he never forgot that idea he had back in the 70s. So, with the students, Romero makes this little short film about Bigfoot. He's there only 10 days and left just about the whole thing, besides the directing, to the students. They built the sets, shot everything, and that was that. He had to leave and move on to other projects and he left the kids to cut and edit the film. Unfortunately, after it was finished, it fell into obscurity, like many projects, lost and forgotten about. That is until recently. The University of Pittsburgh started the George A. Romero Archival Collection. They gathered things donated from Romero's widow, his daughter, and his business partner, and while digitizing everything, they stumbled upon Jacaranda Joe. How cool would have that been? Obviously, the people putting this together are huge Romero fans, and they just happened to find some lost media? I can only imagine how they felt the first time watching this. Well, anyway, you've heard me talk long enough. Let's dive into this lost short from George A. Romero. It opens up on a very 90s talk show called Remington, where the host, Remington Pierce, is doing a special on some new footage that many are claiming is real evidence of Bigfoot. He talks to the audience and gets their take on the town Jacaranda, a small town near the Florida Everglades. Since this footage has come out, people are flocking to the small town to hopefully get a glimpse of the creature. The town is running out of food and water, but more and more people just keep showing up. One of the locals is nicknamed Hardtack. For some reason, they really focus on this guy, and Remington even begs the audience to call in if they know anything about him. I'm not really sure why, but he really wants to know who this guy is. Next, they bring in Benjamin Talltree a native from the area, and they go into all the details of his tribe's traditions. Apparently, it's a rite of passage for his people to kill a panther with their bare hands. The audience doesn't like this one bit. Oh, 
Okay, sure, but what does this have to do with Jacaranda Joe? Patty, roll the film. Finally, they play the clip we've been waiting for. And it's basically just Romero's idea for the footage. A bunch of hunters and a camera crew go out into the woods to hunt something. I don't know, what do you hunt in Florida? Alligators? Their celebrity guest is a basketball superstar, Jesse Thunderball Wilson, played by Isaac Singleton, who is a real actor, not just a student at the college at the time. He mostly does voices in video games now, but he's done some other movies, including Letters from the Big Man, another Bigfoot project that I'll get to at some point. Anyway, they hear something big in the swamp, and from behind a tree, out pops Jacaranda Joe. Jesus f***ing Christ! Look out, look out like there! Gun. Where are you, Jesse? Shoot! Shoot the damn The place. video cuts out there, but for a little bit, we still have audio, and it's really just guys yelling and screaming. They debate shooting it, but at this point, it's gone. The camera comes back, and now the only lighting is a lighter. They ask the guys what they saw, and Thunderball doesn't believe them, thinking this is all just a prank. Then the tape cuts for good, and back at the talk show, where they show us one last time the few frames in which they caught a monster. Stay with us. The best is yet to come on this special edition of Remington. And that's it. It's just about 17 minutes long, but you can tell there was a lot more going on here. What was the deal with hardtack? And why did they go into that part about killing a panther? These are things that I'm sure would have been answered in a feature length film. I'm impressed by the suit and makeup, and I really do like that talk show format. It's different and plays with the found footage idea that this really happened and you're watching it on TV. The ideas were all there, the money was probably there. I really wonder why this didn't happen. I heard that Romero's original script had the group bring back a baby Bigfoot. The hunters would fight over what to do in classic Romero style. And then, that wasn't until the celebrity guest, who was supposed to be Franco Harris, brings the baby back and decides it's best to just leave these creatures alone. I really want to know why they didn't want to make this. I know Romero's thing is zombies, and that's probably all the studio wanted him to make, but come on. Imagine if Steven Spielberg only did movies about sharks then we would have missed out on Indiana Jones and E.T. and so on. But I guess the past is the past, and there's nothing that I can do now to change it. We will never get a full-length Bigfoot movie from George Romero. But we did get Jacaranda Joe, a short that was filmed with a bunch of college students that was lost, but now is found. And that's pretty cool. Jacaranda Joe was streamed by the University of Pittsburgh on April 12, 2022, by Ben Rubin and Avin Hart. They managed to get three people who worked on the film to discuss the experience during the live stream. Elizabeth Tobin Kurtz, who did the props, Michael Sellers, who was the assistant director, and George Ritzhalla, who edited the film. After graduating from the program, might I add, the three of them reminisced and it seemed like watching the short and talking to each other brought back a lot of really good memories. They all still work in film to this day, and during the live stream even planned a meeting to get back together. They're all really open to the idea of finishing this project, which would be really cool, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It's awesome that programs like the George A. Romero Archival Collection exist, and I personally would like to thank them for live streaming their findings for free to the public. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Yeah. Joanne from South Philadelphia. What's your phone number? <laughs>
Just kidding. I'm just kidding, all right? See you after the show. <laughs> just a joke. Just a joke. 